Hello and welcome to another opening video today. And yes, it's it, so I'm recording this on a day that the because uh, I, I do this like a week in advance. I record these a week in advance. I don't know why, but I just do. Um, I know why, but uh, that's too much explanation. But um, so a couple of things. One thing I want to go over as I go through this um, code cards because I got a comment and it does bring up a very fair, fair point, and it's something I do want to go over. So. Let's go ahead and open this up and I can talk about it more as we're opening this, uh, I didn't go over this, the Savali figure collection. And some of you may notice that there, there, you can see a little bit more of the payment now. And yes, yes you can. There's a reason for that. Um, I have slightly changed my setup so you can actually see more of the playmat without seeing the actual desk. You can see a little tiny part of the desk like right around here-ish I think. Um, but not all terrible bits. So, the Chinese Savali, not Chinese Savali, that's a different set. The Savali, regular Savali, collection box, box comes with a promo card as most of these promos do. This is a little bit bent. Um, so, but hey, I don't care too much because it's, it's something I bought and I'm just collecting. I'm not going to trade this, but. And we're using more Medora's Master Thieves simply because um, I got, I didn't get more. I found out that I had more than I thought. Uh, the collection also comes with a very nice Savali. I do not know where the center of this is. Right here, towards the hobo face. Got it! This nice Savali figure. So pretty. I like it. This is that right here for the moment. And it comes with uh, four cards. Or four packs of cards. So I'm gonna want just a moment here. So I'm gonna hold on to this down here. It comes with two Crimson Invasion packs. Uh, I'm not sure by the rest of these evolutions. And for some reason, there's a uh, Pokemon Center thing, I think. My el my local game shop gets these from Pokemon Center. I guess if this is any, any indication of that, so. And I got a cook card. Ancient Origins. Um, this. Together, so we're only opening up four packs today, which is fine, because I want to talk about more of uh, considering the cook cards. So let's go. Yeah, order of when these were released. Actually, no, let's save evolutions for last. Okay. So. Put that into a frame right there. So, the code cards. Let's talk about those really quick. Um, it means we're, I won't be reading the so, our cards. Uh, one, two, three, boop. Uh, it's just one, two, three, two. So, code cards. The way I want to go about doing those is, um, I, I actually started playing the Pokemon Train card game online. And, I'm just going to check that, that really quick because I can't do that and talk about cards at the same time. So, I started playing the Pokemon Train card game online myself, so I'm going to be using the code cards for myself, but there will be chances for and it, for a while I'll, I'll be using them for myself, but after some point, after I've collected enough cards on the trading card game online that I feel like I can give away code cards, that I want to give away code cards, I'll do so. Like, probably for, X and, for the X and Y sets, because they're going to be phased out soon. I'll probably just include those sooner rather than later. Um, but for right now, the way it's going to work is I'm going to keep the card cards for myself. And once I collect enough of a set on the trading card game online, uh, then I'll have viewers able to get code cards. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about that quite yet. When I find that out, I'll let you know in a video. Uh, but for right now, they're just going to myself. Because I'm selfish. I'm really not. Um, but that's how that's working. So, Quack Sire. Use the water energy. It's pretty weird. 1 for 30, 3 for 80, and side effect by resistance. Combi, 1 for 10. Go to 2 for 30 and tells if it does nothing. Arvesta, 2 for 30. Porygon, 1 to look through your deck and shuffle. So you see what you have. 2 for 20. Of a Porygon, each of your stage 1 Pokemon in play is now a water type Pokemon in addition to its existing type. That's really neat. It's a dual type. Neat. 2 for 70. Amphro Spirit Link. But awesome, 1 for 20 and switch it with one of your bench Pokemon. Uh, 2 for 30. 60 and move as many grass energy cards from your Pokemon to your other Pokemon in any way you like. That's really neat. Reverse Maytang, 2 for 30, 3 for 50 times, no plus, 20 more for each head, I have 2, and a Sceptile GX. Look at that art, so pretty. Ah, not sure if this is going to be of any use, uh, but it's really nice to have. It's really pretty, it's really full art, so that's really nice. So yeah, we're going to be sipping these babies on up. I'm gonna put that over here actually. Uh, next, we're gonna be opening up our Crimson Invasion packs.
Okay, so Crimson Invasion is one, two, three, one, one, two. We have Straw Blue, one for ten, Spoink, one for ten, Tram Echo, one for ten, and um what is this? Your opponent captured any Pokemon that has an ability from their hand during turn, so that's a little bit of a barrier, so it does block some various Pokemon. So, depending on the meta game, uh, that might actually be pretty good. Except for the 1 for 10. That's really bad for about it. And the 70 HP. Trick of Health, 1 for 10, 2 for 20 times, number of heads up. Yeah. Out of 2. Execute, 1 for Steep, 1 for 10. Lair on, 1 for 20, 4 for 80. Imaga, 1 to put 300 cards from Jessica Pile into your hand, or 1 for 30, and switch up with one of your electric Pokemon. A living Graviter, 2 for 30, 1 for 100, and 100 to itself, because it throws up. Mankey, reverse, fire reverse auto. 1 for 10 times the number of heads out of 3, and I must run for our rare. Uh, just a regular rare. Okay. Uh, 60 times plus 30 more for each heads out of 2. Three for that, and four for ninety plus ten more for each savage candy you put up to this maximum of nine. So okay, that's not very good. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that with that because it's a mega rare. Giving up our Mankey. Next comes the invasion pack. Uh, so one thing I want you guys to discuss in the comments is. Uh, the metagame of the Pokemon TCG, what do you guys know about it? Like, the actual competitive competitive side of it. And what you do and how you go about figuring all of that out. Because uh, I do want to, like, figure out the metagame some more so I can actually talk about these cards a bit better. Because um, a lot of these EXs and DXs, like, I have no clue if this is actually a good card or if this was a good card when it came out. I know, it just looks pretty to me. Um, but I do want to get into the, into the competitive side of the, TC of the Train Guard game. So, please tell me what you know. And give me any tips for beginners that you may you know. Anyways, uh, Stifle, uh, 2 for 30. Magical, we got over that. Rim Raid, 1 for 2 for 30. Mankey, Jingle Bell O, Fighting Memory. Gastrodon, 2 for 30. And the, the opponent's active Pokemon is not confused. Earthquake, 3 for, for 120. And 10, 10 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. Eh, it's not too good, but it's not too bad. This would actually go well in a uh, deck with uh, Incineroar, actually. If you do the Earthquake, switch into Incineroar, and you can do lots of damage. Uh, Cantra Energy, Fred's Eclipse Energy. If you have more prize cards, you win than your opponent. And if this card is attached to a Pokemon that is, that is not Pokemon GX or EX, this card provides every energy type, but only provides two energy at a time. Corefish for our reverse, two for 30, and Altaria for our record rare. Uh, Draco Melody, want to do this, flip a coin of heads, search your deck for a dragon type Pokemon, and put onto your bench, then shuffle your deck afterwards. Or 1 for 30, during your opponent's next turn, this, word this Pokemon takes 30 less damage after uh, weakness and resistance. So that's really neat. And then we're going to end off today's video with XY Evolutions. That we're getting an onyx. Uh, let's see, so it's one, two, three, one, two, because there are no energies for this. So, if onyx, again, I'm not going over, over these cards because it's based, uh, I know these from the top of my head, not from the top of my head, but these are very familiar with me. So, onyx, Nidoran male, polywag, grass energy. Tata, that's a weird, a weird bit of artifacting there on that side. That's really weird. But Tata, which actually. Is that always have an ability? I don't know. Did Rotata already. Base that Rotata always have an ability? I don't call it a did. Double color of energy. My first one from. Well, I guess it's a reprint of base set, but still. Uh, if, uh, first one from a, a set that resembles base set. <laughs> I never got a double color of energy back when I first started collecting the cards. So this is really cool. Super Potion. Charmeleon. Haunter for a rare. I really like the, um, again, I said this last time too. I opened up, I opened up an XY Evolutions. Uh, but the reverse holo on the original design of the card is really nice. And Duck Trio. We are saving that Haunter up. We only got one 
foil rare. That's a bit lackluster. This was a very unexciting video. My, I am so sorry, guys, but not all of these can be winners. Not all of these will have a secret rare in them, and I, you just gotta take that and you gotta re remind yourself that these days will happen. So, to recap, we got Savali as, as a promo card for this. Uh, the following reverse hollows Matang, Mankey, Corefish, and Haunter. And the only rare for today, a foil rare, is Subtal EX. So, if you enjoyed this very lackluster video, hey, like this video, does help. If you think that someone else would enjoy this lackluster video because it's very, uh, not very exciting, or you can prank them, tell them, yo, watch this video, it has a very surprising end, and send them to them, send this video to them, just to them be disappointed. Do that too. Not a bad idea. Um, comment down below, tell me, give me tips on the Pokemon Trading Guard game, and how to get, like, what I should know when going into it. Like, I guess one thing that I need to know is like how decks are built and what strategies for building a deck would be good to know because I did start building one that I kind of made on TCG Online. It's not good. I know it's not good. Um, so give me tips in the comments down below. I want to know how to get better and yeah, I know I can watch videos, but I want you guys' opinions on how to get better or how to get good, how to actually get good because I can't get better if there's no skill. Um, that's just me rambling. I will see you guys. One last thing before I actually end off. Code cards. Remember, um, they'll eventually, at some point, you guys will have ways of getting the code cards. I just need to figure that out, and I'll let you know. Also, code cards are another thing about that. Code cards for special editions, like the, like today's video, and what I've been opening. If I wind up getting multiple, like once I get the fifth one, that's when you guys will be getting the code cards for those. And I'll be thinking, I'm not sure if I want to do a pull. I will figure that out off, off camera and let you guys know when I know. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!